So here's the eye palette that I'm going to be using today, the Glitz Wiz She Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And this is very reminiscent to a Natasha Denona palette. Like the color story is very, very similar. There are 28 colors in here and this uh, plastic sleeve actually is sticky and that's what has all the names on it. But here are the shades. Hopefully you can see those there. I'm just going to play as I go and see what I come up with. Got my matcha here. So I'm just going to be playing as I go. I'm going to go ahead and put my P. Louise eyeshadow base on as my primer and base. I'm going to blend this out really quick with the She Glam sponge. I got this in a trio and I'll be using this later for foundation, but I'm just going to blend this out. This is a very neutral friendly palette, which is really great. I'm going to go ahead and start with a Morphe R39, which is very similar to the Sigma E25. And I'm going to be taking the color Camden, which is a dark green. There is like no kickback at all. Place this in the crease here. I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a Morphe JS6, which is a little bit smaller size of that brush. And I'm going to go in with Bad Choices, which is a lighter mossy green. Very interesting color. I'm just blending those two shades together. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend these two out. I blended out both of the colors and I'm just going back in with that dark green shade because it seemed to blend some of that color away. And I'm going to do the same thing with the mossy green. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do I want to add another color? I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm going to use my P. Louise base and a flat concealer brush and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and cut the crease. I went ahead and did this eye off camera. I'm going in with a Sigma E55 and the color cream, dark khaki color, and I'm going over the base with that shade. Again, I'm having to just like go in and pick up a lot of product. So I had to go in with something a little bit different instead of, you know, normally I go with like a light shimmery shade, but I just thought I'm going with something a little bit different. And then I'm going in with the shade Fusion, which is a dark brown. It wasn't as dark as I was hoping it to be. Ooh, and again, I'm just having to like, because there is no kickback or fallout, I'm having to just go in and pick up a lot of eyeshadow, but it's still really pigmented. And then going back in with that darker green. This is like a very fall <laughs> woodsy look, which is kind of fun. You know, you can do whatever kind of makeup you want to do any time of the year. I'm going with my House Laboratories liquid liner in the color Whiskey, which is a brown. And there we have it. I'm just gonna clean up the edges and just match the sharpness of my eyeliner. And then we can move on to the face products. I'm excited to try their concealer. I've already done a review on their foundation, so I'm really excited to see how the concealer plays out. I have their foundation in the shade, shade Shell, which like I said, I've already done a review on. And then this is their concealer, which is in the shade Madeline. Um, so I'm excited to see how that wears. I'm gonna go ahead and put the foundation on. I'm using a brush or a sponge from their brush or their sponge trio. One of the sponges got smushed up there. So there's two sponges right there, but it comes with a larger one, a smaller uh, teardrop, and then a hourglass shaped sponge. So I'm gonna test this out on my face and see how that is. My skin broke out a lot after 
the Huda foundation, so it's slowly recovering from that, which just isn't fun. My skin was looking so good. The sponge is on the stiffer side. It's not like hard, but it's not like soft. So I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of in the middle. Let me know what your favorite foundation is right now. I know a lot of people aren't wearing makeup right now, but if you are wearing foundation, what's your favorite foundation right now? Let me know. So there's the foundation, does a pretty good job of covering and evening out everything. And the shade matches me pretty well. So there's that. Here's the concealer. It's a big flat doe foot applicator. Looks like it holds a lot of product. Feels very liquidy, which is nice. Hopefully it won't settle into my lines. I like bringing everything just to highlight the center of my face. It's struggling to blend a little bit. Like where I put it, it's staying. But the shade seems to be pretty good. Always people who do their eyeliner first I always end up getting concealer or foundation on it and then I have to go back in and fix it <laughs> so I think you see it seems to be settling into my lines under my eyes so I might need to go in with my fingers just to help with that who remembers the days of using their fingers for their makeup I used to glob on my foundation with my hands before sponges and before it like even brushes were a thing. Now it's popular on TikTok which is kind of crazy. I don't know if it's just me getting old but I don't know it just seems really creepy under the eyes. So I'll have to see what it looks like with powder. I'm going to set it with my favorite powder which is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder which you can now get at Ulta. I'm so happy about that. I just prefer Ulta's point system way better than the Sephora's. See how this looks with powder. That looks a little bit better with the powder underneath or on top. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Superstay. Everyone on TikTok and on social media has been talking about the L'Oreal Infallible Powder, which apparently is supposed to be better coverage than the Maybelline Superstay. I'm all about that full coverage, so I'm going to have to pick that up and see how that wears. I've always strayed away from L'Oreal um, products just because they have a high amount of titanium dioxide in their face products, and I have a sensitivity to that, so that's why I've never gravitated towards their foundations or testing their foundations on my channel before if you guys are curious. <laughs> the next thing I have to try is their Stereo Face Palette. There is a bronzer, a shimmery blush, and then the rest are highlight shades, which ah, I'm excited. I swatched these in my haul video if you guys haven't seen that, and these felt so insanely soft so I have high hopes for these so I'm gonna go in with the shade fairy dust now these have the names on the actual cardboard why couldn't the eyeshadow palette be like that so I'm gonna go in with the shade fairy dust I'm gonna use the uh, Sigma contour blush it's like a duo like a duo fiber brush so I'm gonna go in with that bronzing shade Oh wow, that's pigmented. Oh wow, and it blends out beautifully. I'm gonna go in with the blush shade, which is called Cleopatra's Light. It's a shimmery blush. It's very reminiscent of like Orgasm from NARS. It doesn't look too shimmery actually. And I've always put my blush kind of up here because when I put it right here, it always makes me look like I have a rounder face. And I mean, I already have a round face, so I don't want to look any rounder. 
And I've been trying to put blush like on my nose lately. Which I think it looks cute. Oh, now I see the shimmer a little bit peeking through. Oh yeah, there's a very subtle gold glow to it, which actually looks really pretty. What highlight should I use? I'm going to use the highlight golden dime, which is the lightest one. And I might mix in some of this gold, which is called Majesty. There's a golden dime by itself. Oh, that's pretty. And then here's Majesty. Oh, that's really pretty too. That's definitely more gold. Now I'm going to mix the two and just kind of layer those on top. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Ooh, love. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyeshadow, put some lashes on, put my eyebrows, all that fun stuff, and then I'll be back to review their lipstick. All right, the eyeshadow is done. I just went ahead and took that dark green and brought it under my lower lash line. My glue is still drying, so pardon that. But um, I picked out a lipstick from them. This one is in the shade Nude Pink 608. And here is the color. It's like a matte mauve color. And I swatched this and it seemed pretty soft. So let's see how this is. Oh, yeah, it's a lot softer than I was expecting. Oh, I totally got lipstick everywhere so i have to do the same thing to the other side oh no <laughs> it's a very strong fruity scent to it but oh my gosh this tip is like huge so i ended up getting lipstick everywhere wow i didn't feel this lipstick is actually like super comfortable it looks like it would be really drying and matte in the tube but it actually feels really, really nice. Forgot to mention, my eyelashes are Makeup Geek eyelashes in the style Ava. So this is everything. I'm not gonna set it with setting spray because I really don't think it needs it. I just look really glowy and luminous. Um, I am shocked. She Glam has definitely surprised me. And like I said, their products are really affordable. They're super popular with their clothing, their Shein uh, clothing website. So on their clothing website, you can get the She Glam beauty products. Um, so thank you so much to them for sending this stuff over to me to test it out. I am surprised. I'll leave everything linked down below. So check that out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.